this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home and it's Thursday and it's time for my grocery haul. I have all my totals on the board and I have my weekly menu plan. One thing I want to mention is last week, of course, I had my wonderful friend Tangie at Freedom Homestead visit. By the way, she's going to have a grocery haul today too, I'm gonna, so I'm going to link you to her channel at the top and you can check that out. But anyway, she was here all last week and so I put a menu plan up last week, but things kind of changed a little bit because she came and it kind of threw things off and then we made tons of food when she was here so when she left we ended up having leftovers on Saturday and Sunday Rick and I took a date break because we hadn't really had a chance to be alone the whole week and then Monday night the kids went out and saw a movie so Rick and I had another date so there were several days that it, everything changed last week so I'm gonna show you my totals my menu plan, the receipts, I'm going to show you all that good stuff, but I will warn you in advance, some of the things that are on there are kind of the same as last week because we ended up not having them last week, so we're going to have them this week. So let's go look at the board. Okay, so here are my totals. The discount grocery I spent $4.07. Aldi I spent $27.94. Ingalls I spent $22.75 for a total of $54.76. So I still have a few dollars left and I'm going to pick up one more thing when I'm out this week. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. Uh, let's look at my receipts and then I'll talk about the menu plan. Okay, here are my receipts. And of course at my discount grocery store, I only spent $4.07. Uh, Aldi, I spent $27.94. And Ingalls, I spent $22.75. Okay, so here's the menu plan. Tonight we are going to have fish sticks macaroni and cheese and uh, potatoes and some broccoli all instant stuff because it's actually late on Wednesday night when I'm filming this and we're actually not going to eat till after church so I needed something that I could just make quick so that's what that is tonight and then Thursday we're having steak let me see if you can see that steak baked potatoes and a spinach salad I'm sure you guys are getting the idea of some things that I bought uh, Friday I'm gonna have turkey soup Saturday, I'm going to have tacos. we got a lot of leftover taco stuff, and I'm just going to make some more tacos this week. And then Sunday, we're going to have chicken and chili. Again, that's our regular Sunday meals. Monday, we're going to have Mississippi chicken. We did not have that last week, and I want to make sure that we have that this week because I've kind of been waiting to have it. It's, it's one of those things I really like. And then Tuesday, we're going to have tilapia, rice, and kale. So that is our menu plan for this week. Of course, those are dinners only if you want to know about how I do breakfast and lunch, I will link you in the description box to my uh, wonderful old blog post, How I Feed My Family of Five for $100 every month. Of course, we got a family of six now. Everybody's bigger. It's been a lot of years. Our grocery budget has increased, but how I do breakfast and lunch has not changed, so you can check that out if you're interested. So let me show you what I purchased. Okay, here we go. This is my grocery haul for this week, and I kind of have it separated on the table. Over here to the right, just a couple of things that I picked up at my discount grocery store this week. They haven't had great, super great bargains, so I haven't been getting much there. But I'm, I went ahead and picked up three more of the Mac and Trees. Of course, they're three for 99 cents, and Brianna really likes them. So they're good to have on hand, and we're going to have those. And I picked up two packages of turkey drumsticks. And if you can't see the price there, let me see if I can't make that more clear. It's $1.50 for a package of these turkey drums, and it's got three good-sized turkey drumsticks in there which I'm gonna to use to make turkey soup and other things. So I went ahead and picked up two packages of that. We'll be putting those in the freezer. And that's all I got from my discount grocery store. Over here, I'll show you a couple of things that I picked up at Ingalls while I was there. Uh, I went ahead and picked up this Hungry Jack Instant Potatoes. That was, again, we, it was getting late and we thought, oh, okay, we better get some things for dinner tonight that are quick and I do not wanna eat out. So $2.28 for that. I got kale at Ingalls. Actually, this bag of kale at Ingalls was $2.98, and at Aldi, it was $3.49. So it was actually cheaper to get it at Ingalls. So I, and I thought it might be, so I didn't buy it at Aldi purposely because I wanted to try it at Ingalls, and I was right. Um, they had cube steak on sale, and since this week we, we didn't have to pick up very much, I thought it was a good week to splurge on something extra. And we went ahead and picked up this cube steak. It was on sale for $2.98 a pound. So I got this package for $5.63 and this package for $5.63. So we have two good sized packages and that'll be dinner tomorrow. At Ingles, I also picked up, of course I said we were running late and I wanted something quick. Brianna said she wanted some fish sticks. 
So we got these uh, Gordon's Fisherman Roasted Garlic and Italian Herb. Uh, these were actually buy one, get one free. So we thought, okay, that was pretty reasonable. And it was buy one, get one free at $5.78. So that was pretty good. And, and there we go. We got it all. That was all that we got at Ingalls. It, again, not very much for $22.75, but this was five, this was five, this was five, this was three. And all of that adds up. So that was what I got at Ingalls. Now, the rest was all the. And of course, like I said, we didn't need to buy very much because we were using on the menu plan a lot of the things we had from last week. So I thought this was a good week to stock up on some basics. So I got spinach. The spinach was $1.49. I went ahead and picked up a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. That was $3.49. This three pound bag of mandarins, I guess they're, what are they, halos right there. That bag was $2.69 on sale this week. I got a bag of pink lady apples for $3.89. And then I went ahead and picked up some ketchup. We were out of ketchup and of course you gotta have ketchup around the house. It was $1.49. I picked up some more salsa just in case we needed it. That was also $1.49. I picked up some um, oregano. I don't know if you can see that down here. There we go. I needed some oregano and that was 99 cents. The avocados were on sale this week for 49 cents each, so I went ahead and picked up two. I also grabbed some black beans. You know, if you guys watch our grocery hauls, we go through black beans like crazy. Our family loves them. I really have got to one day uh, do a stock up on them, go ahead and make them in my Instapot or, uh, you know, just do something and make a bunch of them and freeze them or can them, but I, I've not done it yet, so I needed to buy four cans at 55 cents each. I picked up some cream of chicken soup. Again, a convenience item, 49 cents. You guys, I am so busy. I've got a lot of convenience items this week, but that's okay. It's, it's just, it, it's not all year round, but it is this week. I picked up some unsalted butter. That was $2.35, which really is not bad where we are. I picked up a cantaloupe, and that was a nice uh, extra for our family. Ricky loves cantaloupe, and it was 99 cents. And of course I picked up some creamy peanut butter. We were all out here, so I needed to make sure we had some of that. And that was $2.49 for that nice big package. And then we got a bag of restaurant, restaurant style tortilla chips at 89 cents. So all of that was what I picked up at Aldi for $27.94. And that is the entire grocery haul this week. I'm pretty excited because we were able to stock up on some things and get some, some items that we don't normally get. Like steak is one of those things that we get when whenever we have extra money. And the convenience foods, that stuff, we, if you've watched our grocery hauls for a while, we almost never get that. So that's, that's really a bonus for us this week. Some things that'll make my week a little easier as I'm trying to catch up from the craziness of last week. And it's just, it's just one of those things. So anyway, I'm really excited about the stuff that we got and what we're going to do with it. So um, you guys, I hope that it is helpful to you to see the things that we buy and to see our menu plan and to see how we stretch it and make it work. And uh, we try, of course, to share this with you to help you feed your family well on a budget. And as you know, that is the goal of Frugal Family Food, our Facebook group and now the website that we're building. And we also have Frugal Family Food Collaboration, which every Friday we share with you another YouTuber who is making a meal for it. They specifically plan ahead, we plan this months in ahead, and we ask folks, hey, can you come on and make a video and share with folks a meal that's frugal to them? And they do, these YouTubers, they work really hard at it. And uh, this week we have a YouTuber coming on. And of course this month, March, is Instapot Crock-Pot Month, okay? So all the meals that we're giving you this month are, because maybe all of us are busy, I don't know, but these are meals for your Instapot and your Crock-Pot. And so Jamie Patterson, I'm gonna link her channel up here at the top. She is gonna have a video for you sharing with you a frugal meal for your Crock-Pot or Instapot. So make sure you go check that out tomorrow. Go check out her channel. She's kind of a newer YouTuber. We don't we don't get too many of those guys because uh, Tangie and I usually just schedule folks that like connect with us or ask us about it. And for whatever reason, a lot of new YouTubers don't always ask us. Um, but she did, and hey, look, she's on. So if you guys want to be a part of Frugal Family Food, just let us know. We are we are scheduled, I think, through May. 
So it, it'd be June and beyond that we're trying to schedule now. But uh, if you guys are, are, are interested and you want to share a meal, maybe there's a meal that is really super frugal for your family, let us know. We'll see if we can't work you on the schedule. So anyway, uh, make sure you guys check out Jamie Patterson and her frugal meal. And also don't forget to check out our t-shirts. We have our t-shirts. We have um, today is sponsored by Coffee T-shirt. And we have the Crock-Pot T-shirts. It's Crock Around the Clock. And we also have... Uh, the canning jar t-shirt says we can do it. The mason jar one is so cute. Anyway, uh, I'll have a link to that in the description box. So make sure you check that out and grab yourself a t-shirt because all the proceeds from that 10% goes to uh, food organizations that uh, feed people that are needy in our communities. And then the rest of it is going to build the Frugal Family Food website, which we are still working on. And we should, hopefully we're going to have it released in April. I can't even believe it. It's amazing. So make sure you check that out. Of course, Tangie and I will be live in the Frugal Family Food Community Group tomorrow morning, chatting with you guys about Jamie's video and some other things that are relevant. So come hang out with us there. I will also have a link for that in the description box. So there's so much great stuff going on. It's a great time. It's a great time. Things are good. Things are happening. And I got to get ready to go to church. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. And we'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.